Let me ask you this. Do you, do you fear it's the tip of the iceberg? Mm. This Cambridge Analytica, it, they, what they've been doing is taking through a third party, as it turned out, all this data on 50 million users and then misusing it, it appears, to even potentially inf try and influence elections. But they can't be the only ones that cottoned on to the fact that actually you can get your hands on Facebook user da data very easily. Well, I think you're absolutely right. And this is the exact issue we're going to be uh, discussing in the committee this afternoon with Sandy Parakilis, because he um, it's a piece in The Guardian today mm. where he talks about this. I, read it. I mean, it's yeah. really disturbing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he basically says that, that Facebook had, had no control over this and didn't really care yeah. very much. And, and, of course, we should remember with the Cambridge Analytica data breach, they knew about this two years ago. Right. They only acted against the company when it was clear the Observer were going to print the story, and they tried to suppress the story from being printed in the first place. Mm. Dr Victoria Baines, um, you were Facebook's trust and safety manager for Europe, Middle East and Africa. Uh, without doubt, trust has been lost in Facebook. Have they got a leg to stand on? Trust has always been very important online. And, and actually, I spent 10 years working in law enforcement on cybercrime investigations and, and online child protection. And, and what I saw time and again is that trust is one of those watchwords, as is transparency. So it's really, really important. Um, well, Zuckerberg's people... dream, wasn't it? When he was in his dormitory at Harvard University creating Facebook, his stated dream, and he's repeated this many times, was to make the world a more open place. There's nothing open about what's been going on here. In fact, it's the complete opposite. This is the kind of slightly corrupt capitalist behaviour you'd expect from the antithesis of that dream. Well, I do think the fact that the company was transparent with the public about exactly what had happened by publishing a blog, you know, and detailing what they've done about that... But after, um, the, milk, after the, the investigation... A long time after the milk was spilled. Well, I think the matter of the investigation is for the Information Commissioner for the Federal Trade mm. Commission in the US, and I think there's a lot of speculation at the moment about what's happening. Yeah, but what we do know, there is speculation, but there are also some hard facts mm. in this investigation, a brilliant investigation, by the way. Um, as a Facebook user, and there's lots I love about Facebook, that's why we all use it, mm. right? It's the biggest social media platform in the world. But I knew when they targeted ads at me and they would pop yeah. up that clearly they were using my information to try and tailor my usage to me. I didn't have a problem with that, so long as it didn't then leave Facebook. Of course. What yeah. I'm now discovering is that actually, you know, some random professor can ring up and say, I'm doing a bit of research, send me all this data on 50 million users, mm. it gets handed to him and then it gets passed on to a very dodgy bunch of people who clearly are then using it for nefarious reasons, including trying to fix elections. And now, I, I if I it's... had known that this was happening to my data, I'd have come off Facebook in 10 mm. seconds. So I think it's important that we unpack that for your viewers. So, Am the, I wrong the... about any of that? Um... I wouldn't say I agree with you entirely. Which because bit's I think wrong? it's Which I, bit is factually I think it's incorrect? A, well, I think it's a very complex issue that needs... Yeah, which bit of what I said is wrong? Um, in the sense that um, you're talking about the business model of Facebook, which is to allow apps to have access to Facebook data. Now, that is so up that for debate, I think. Was he? So I think that's precisely the point. Research. What we're talking about here is misuse of data, mm. which yeah, is which potentially said, a very serious... You said that serious... I'd, I'd got stuff wrong. Which bit of mm. it was wrong? So the Cambridge Analytica piece mm. is about misusing data that was supplied with the consent of people on Facebook. Mm. Um, actually, but that's not right, purposes. though, is it? Because they actually, only thought that they were taking part in this survey. Exactly. That's and the by the thing. way, it they automatically triggered yeah, so, so, all their friends, which so they weren't exactly, aware of. This is, a, this is potentially a data protection offence by Cambridge Analytica, but obviously we're speculating about that and we need to well, Why is it wait not an offence by Facebook? And why um, shouldn't it be an offence so by Facebook? They're supposed to be in control new of data my data. data protection legislation coming in in May. It's called the General Data Protection Regulation. The reason why that's important is that all internet companies, and that includes supermarkets, it includes online delivery services, it includes very small online retailers, are going to have to be really, really transparent with their customers about what data they store and who they share it mm. with. Now, everybody needs to get better at that, and I would say even Facebook has learned the, the lessons we have, of the that.